Amadou Bamba Mbak, also known as Cheikh Amadou Bamba, was a Senegalese Sufi religious leader and founder of the Marid Brotherhood. He was born on 23rd of September, 1853 in the village of Mbak, in Senegal. Amadou Bamba Mbak was known for his piety, humility, and wisdom, and he dedicated his life to the service of Allah. The Marid Brotherhood, which he founded in 1883, is one of the largest Sufi orders in the world, with millions of followers in Senegal, Gambia, Mauritania, and other African countries. Amadou Bambambak advocated for spiritual development, hard work, self-sufficiency, and social justice, and his teachings have inspired countless people throughout the world. He is widely regarded as a national hero in Senegal, and his legacy continues to influence the country's culture, politics, and religion to this day. Amadou Bambambak was revered as a spiritual leader and his followers believed in his spiritual power. According to his teachings, he was seen as a guide who showed the way to a deeper connection with Allah. In the Marid Brotherhood, Amadou Bambambaka's spiritual power is believed to have come from his direct connection with Allah, intense devotion, and self-discipline. H.E. is said to have had spiritual visions and experiences that guided him in his teachings and leadership. Many of his followers believe that Amadou Bambambak possessed healing powers and that he could help people with physical and spiritual illnesses. They believe that his blessings and prayers have the power to heal people and provide them with protection. Overall, Amadou Bambambaka's spiritual power was rooted in his deep faith, selflessness, and commitment to serving Allah, and his followers continue to honor his legacy by striving to emulate his teachings and way of life. Amadou Bambambak had a contentious relationship with the French colonial administration in Senegal. In the early 20th century, the French authorities saw Amadou Bambambak and his growing following as a threat to their colonial rule and saw his teachings as subversive and potentially destabilizing. As a result, they arrested Amadou Bambambak several times and exiled him to Gabon, Mauritania, and then to Mali for many years. During his exile, he continued to exert spiritual influence on his followers and fellow Senegalese, and his legacy as a spiritual leader continued to grow. Despite the harsh treatment he received from the French authorities, Amadou Bambambak remained committed to non-violence and peaceful resistance. Encouraging his followers to focus on spiritual development, hard work, and self-sufficiency rather than violent confrontation. His teachings inspired many Senegalese to resist colonial oppression and to seek spiritual empowerment as a means of achieving freedom. After Senegal gained independence in 1960, Amadou Bambambaka's teachings and contributions were recognized and he became widely regarded as a national hero. Despite the challenges he faced during his lifetime, his legacy as a spiritual leader, thinker, and advocate for social justice continues to inspire people around the world. Amadou Bambambak came from a prominent family in Senegal, known as the Mbak family. The Mbak family was influential in the region of Senegal known as Kair, and Amadou Bambambak's father was a leader in the community. Amadou Bambambak himself had several children and wives, and his descendants have continued to play an important role in Senegalese society, particularly in the Marid Brotherhood. His eldest son, Sarain Mohamedou Mustafa Mbak, took over leadership of the Marid Brotherhood after Amadou Bambambak's death in 1927, and his descendants have continued to hold important positions within the organization. Over the years, members of the Mbak family have also been involved in politics, business, and other areas of society. 
They continue to be respected leaders in Senegalese society and honored for their contributions to the Marid Brotherhood and their efforts to promote peace, service, and spiritual development. Amadou Bambambak passed away on January 19, 1927, in his native village of Tauba, in Senegal. He was buried in Tauba, and his tomb has become a pilgrimage site for his followers and other Senegalese Muslims. His death was a significant loss for the Marid Brotherhood, as he was widely revered as a spiritual leader, guide, and mentor. However, his teachings and legacy have continued to inspire the Marid Brotherhood and other devotees around the world. To this day, Amadou Bambambak's teachings continue to be studied and celebrated, and he is widely regarded as a national hero in Senegal. His contributions to the promotion of peace, service, and spiritual development continue to inspire people throughout the world, and his legacy as a spiritual leader remains a vital part of Senegalese culture and history.